This is the view from the front gates. We wanted to try and hide the solar panels as best as we can while keeping them as close to the house as possible. For a good portion of the day, there's really no obstruction with the sunlight. This is the utility room and this is the closest point to the solar panels. I could, in theory, take out some of these trees on the hill, but I don't want to take any more out because I think they get enough sun. Now the late afternoon sun does throw shade across the panels, but they're my neighbor's trees. I could have moved the panels further away from the property line, but I then would have been too far away from the utility room, which would have created a power loss, and I didn't want that. At some point, no matter what, they're going to be in the shade. The idea is, are they going to get enough sun to do their job? This is the view from the water tank up on the hill. We considered putting them up here. I appreciate the number of you that felt the need to state the obvious that the uh, solar panels were in the shade, uh, but I should point out that uh, it was probably 6.30 or 7 o'clock yesterday uh, when I finished that video. So as you can see, most of the day they are not in the shade, but I am, um, I, I'm not going to go and cut down any more trees until I see where the sun sits over the winter. Um, I think we have enough solar panels to compensate for the shade that we are going to get in some cases, and there are some trees that I obviously can't remove. Um, I could have placed the uh, solar panels, uh, I guess, higher up on the hill, but then you deal with uh, power loss. Um, I could have even placed the batteries up there with the solar panels, which we considered. Um, I guess the point I'm, I'm trying to make is I've put a tremendous amount of thought into this. We didn't want the panels to be so obvious from the front gate. It obstructs our view from the windows just a little bit. Not enough to talk about. I, I have considered putting them over by the shop. Um, but really, I think the main objective was this is the best spot as close to that utility room as we could get it. It's about 75 feet away from the utility room, which is perfect. It's close enough. Um, it's close enough where if I do have to get up and, and brush snow off it, I can. Um, they put off a lot of heat, so they, you know, most uh, most people that uh, deal with the kind of weather that we do, the snow often slides before they have to brush it off. Although there may be an accumulation around the bottom um, at the angle that I have, uh, but but either way, uh, I just wanted to point out that we've tried to put every aspect we could think of into consideration before putting these solar panels here, and with what we have to work with, there's not a better location. Um, we, we're, gonna, we're just going to lose some of that afternoon, late, late afternoon sun, I guess, to some of these trees. And again, because of the size of the panels that we have, size of the system that we have, and I'm also going to throw a couple of wind generators in the mix, um, I'm hoping that we're fine. I'm hoping with the location that we have that they're fine. Once I get the shop built, um, I may move them over there, but the, the bad part about the angle of the shop is it's not due south. It's not uh, true south, I should say. And, uh, and, and a number of questions about the roof. Why didn't I put them on the roof? I just didn't want them on the roof. Um, I don't know um, what my fear was. Um, I guess because, uh, again, if I ever had to, to sweep them every once in a while, we get some gnarly storms where I do need to get the snow off them. But um, I guess the potential for, for roof leaks, uh, probably more than anything, with that corrugated tin roof, um, I didn't want to take any chances, chances with that, and I also wanted to be able to adjust it. Uh, I wanted to be able to adjust the angles um, as I needed to, and I wanted to see if I could build this. After seeing how expensive that ground mount system was from one of the companies I reached out to, in my head I just went, I can build that way cheaper, and it should be just as durable and last just as long. So anyways, that's why they're placed where they are. Um, they're not, uh, it, it's perfect for the location. Thanks for the suggestions. Keep on keeping on.